Hey everybody, it's Miraline, Delicious Delights. Today I'll be sniffing for the very first time a new perfume from Chloe, and it's Nomad Nuit d'Egypte, or Nuit d'Egypte. <laughs> Um, I guess that means uh, Egyptian night. And so this one sounds absolutely beautiful. The notes look amazing with this one. I'm very, very curious about this one. By the way, I haven't seen any reviews on this whatsoever. So I just want to share with you guys my quick thoughts and um, let's see how this one turns out. <laughs> okay, so... Apparently this one is uh, made um, in tribute to celebrate the birthplace of the owner or founder of this house. Uh, her name is Gabby Agion. Hopefully I'm saying that right. So let's see what this one's about. Hmm, very unusual. <laughs> hmm. So, very unique opening. I'm getting this sweet and spicy scent. I'm thinking of benzoin. I'm not sure if that's in the notes, but kind of this sticky resinous feeling at the base here, giving an almost honey-like scent. But along with that, a resinous, sweet, spicy scent as well so Egyptian night I was thinking this would be a very dark and heavy scent and yes it does have this heaviness to it but I'm not thinking of night at all <laughs> I'm thinking of wearing this in the daytime as a nice spicy sweet syrupy kind of scent it also smells like it wouldn't be a, like a super heavy scent or cloying scent either. And it's not reminding me of previous Chloe Nomad perfumes. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. This smells really, really pleasant. So a very unique opening with some spices, a syrupy sweetness. I'm thinking of honey, maybe also a little bit of sweet caramel. Mm, I like it. I'm not sure if I love it yet, but right now I like it and I am finding it to be very, very interesting and different. So let's see what the accords here are uh, the main accords are amber warm spicy sweet white floral vanilla uh, balsamic citrus cinnamon and woody i think balsamic is the word that i was missing <laughs> definitely definitely balsamic resinous warm and cozy not too heavy very very pleasant it's kind of one, I think that if I smelled this on someone else, it would make me want to come in closer and be like, hmm, what is that interesting, interesting scent? Okay, so the nose is Juliette. Ooh, I'm going to have a hard time saying this, but I'll try. Juliette Cara Guzoglu. <laughs> All right, and the top notes are myrrh, cinnamon, and ginger. Uh, the middle notes are orange blossom, kaifi, and broom. And the base notes are vanilla, apopanax, and cypriol oil or nagarmatha. And it also says here that it's paying homage to the original, uh, the origin, sorry, of the first scent of humanity, which is kaifi. And sorry, guys, I'm not familiar what kaifi is. I'm going to have to look it up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think this is a very interesting and unique scent and the texture in here is so interesting kind of like a syrupy pasty kind of delicious scent or texture but not like completely gourmand or anything a little bit of smokiness 
is coming through now as well. And I'm thinking that wearing this on skin would be even more beautiful than what I'm smelling now as a first sniff and impressions. So I'm very, very looking, uh, very much looking forward to trying this on skin and seeing how it dries down. Uh, but so far, super interesting, unique, and I think that I like it. Yeah, I do like it. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> All right, guys, that was my quick first impressions of Nuit d'Egypte, uh, Chloe Nomad Nuit d'Egypte, Egypt, um, by the House of Chloe. Uh, if you have tried this scent, uh, please let me know what you think of it down in the comments. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.